Amigos de Candy, continuamos aquí en el lobby del hotel del Crown Plaza de Ventura y nada más ni nada menos nos encontramos con una gran sorpresa. What a great surprise. And I'm gonna let you uh, him introduce himself, okay? My name is Bob McNabb. Bob McNabb, all star from the national team from England. In the years of the 68 to 70, 72? Yeah, correct, yeah. You're uh, teammates at those times. Well, the England team was, at the time, was the 66 World Cup champions, which I did not participate. I got in the England team during their reign. 1966, a year to remember for England. Yeah, England won the World Cup and uh, I wasn't in the squad and I was still a youngster and uh, I got into the national team in 68 and I was in and out of the team and but I was with the squad for about four years. I was in Mexico in 69 and in 70. I was with when we came for preparation in 69 and then uh, we toured South America and then we came back for six weeks in Mexico, stayed on a place called the Reforma, I think it was in Mexico City. Paseo de la Reforma. Yeah, I'm not sure that hotel still exists in Italy. The Italian national team stayed at the same place, so it was a, it was, it was a wonderful experience. It's not like today when we had no TV, we had no nothing, we're not allowed to go out. It was a little bit boring. It was totally different, but it, it was more discipline for the players. Well, yeah, you, you're not allowed to do anything, and security wasn't, uh, was, you'd had some problems in 1968 in Mexico, and I, if, if I recall, there was some an incident because security all of a sudden went crazy and I think if you re think on two years Israel were in that World Cup and two years later in Munich we know what happened I remember. I remember so I think the Mexican security must have got tip off that there was somebody maybe trying they said they were going to try and kidnap Bobby Moore or Bobby Charlton and obviously as a teammates we made big joke every time they came and said no move over there move away <laughs> don't, don't don't get near them so it was a big joke but it, you know it was a little bit a little bit scary yeah but the, the security was fantastic for us but it, I remember those things very well it was a great experience but you were right something happened in Mexico at those times I used to live in Mexico City at that time and close by the hotel that you used to be. Uh, I just said about a five, ten blocks I used to live. And uh, the, the class of the university, uh, young people in the university start creating problems for the government. It's when that the specific uh, commute uh, happens. Yeah, I think, I think they killed 200 students, I think. And it, it reminds me, like Egypt now, it looks as though there's big, big problems. Actually, it was more than 200, believe me. And usually the, the newspapers tell you one uh, number, but usually it's more than, than the number that the, uh, uh, the press does. I think you could sense that was something, there was a little bit of tension, and I... I, I understood it to maybe just be the pressure of protecting all the players you know but um, I came over here in 1976 with Bobby Moore who was very I was good friends with Bobby we both played he played for West Ham in London I played for Arsenal in London and he was we became a dear friend and we, we traveled all around America playing in the North American Soccer League I remember that one uh, he used to play for Cosmos yeah did you well I play, I probably played against you in we played the Cosmos in a friendly game. Bobby and I just flew over for the midweek game and the Cosmos played in San Antonio and we won 1-0. Yeah. And then we flew back to England and by my brain was fried when I got off the plane because it was, you know, the jet lag. It was very, very difficult. I don't know how the players do it now. They fly from Mexico back and, oh, it's crazy. It's, it, is crazy. it is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me ask you something that... Uh, it's amazing to me, the Premier League, how does it feel to play in one of the toughest, if it's not the toughest league in the world? Um, well, I didn't know any different, you know, and I, I 
it didn't seem particularly tough to me. I just I embraced it. I enjoyed I enjoyed the big games. I love when if if you can if you can't play at Liverpool or Manchester United, you shouldn't be there. You must embrace those moments. You must be very tough. Some of your friends, you know what they told me? When you got married, your wife was wearing chingars. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> you, who told you that? <laughs> she told you. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. It's really been a pleasure to, to uh, recall all those years. Because those were my years. Yeah, well, yeah they were great memories. That's all we've got left, I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Same here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you hear one of the greatest from England. Over here, uh, visiting us in Ventura County for KD Television, Jorge Gutierrez.